Sub viewers, it's fourth computer, and today uh, this has been really requested, really requested by some of my uh, subscribers and commenters. I uh, had to make a quiz and flash with lives. Yes, and it's finally here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, it's finally here. And first of all, I'm gonna say I have the link for this site in the description. But I made a quiz, with its own personal website called the Guessing Game, with three lives for it. And one in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a quiz with three lives. Uh, in another video, maybe this video, if I have enough time left, uh, teach you guys how to make a quiz with five lives. It's very, fairly simple. It just takes more time. Um, but enough about that. Uh, so to save time, I know this is not going to be able to fit in it ten minutes probably. So you may end up seeing part one and part two of this. But anyway. Um, Let's get this thing started. So if you've watched my playlist uh, of how to make a quiz in Flash Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3, if you haven't gone to watch those, check those out. You'll figure out how to make a title page and a question page and everything about, like that. But uh, continue, moving on, uh, I've gone ahead and put all the code into here. The code will need to be different than the ones in Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. I'll be mentioning that. First of all, uh, once you've actually made your... Uh, quiz uh, introduction thing or first question uh, go ahead and I'm just gonna start this thing out with three lives okay lives will be three okay so let's make that just a random color okay so this is going to be the right answer this is going to be the wrong answer. Now, this is how it's going to work. If you have lives for three of them, you're going to need to make three frames of each question. One, the first frame, so let's go ahead and do that now. You don't have to, um, for now, with the coding, just leave it like this. On release, I'll have this in the description. You'll know it from part one, part two, and part three. Uh, I'll have this in the description, but put everything from that code for the buttons but leave the, where you're supposed to put the frame number rate, leave that blank, okay? But do everything else with the questions, all right? So once you got everything done, like I said, go check out those videos. You will, I'm trying to save time here. Uh, make, and you got all lives down, make three frames of this, of this question. Now for the third one, keep that at three lives. For the second one, change that three to like a two or something. And on this one, yeah, I just keep it that color. And on the um, and on the third frame, change it to lives of one. And I'm just gonna make a wrong answer page on frame 65 randomly. Uh, we'll get to that later on. But anyway, on the lives three frame, pick out the qu the button that you want to be the wrong answer. I'm gonna say it's gonna be this. Uh, one on the left, make sure these are buttons, go into your actions, and in that number rate, put two, or the next frame, the frame with the, the frame with the same question with two lives on it, and for the answer, and you do that for all the answers, if all the answers that are going to be wrong, like say you had four, four uh, buttons to choose from, put all the wrong ones to go to that next frame, with the lives too, for the same question. Um, so, uh, and do that for all the wrong answers, and then for the right answer, you'll see that you want to um, see. I've got frame one, frame two, and frame three for all the questions. For the right answer on lives three, change that to four because you're going to the next lives of three for the next question. And it's hard to explain how this method works, but it does. Um, Hopefully you're understanding and following along. Um, so once you've got that coding done for level um, for lives three, go into lives two, change all the wrong answers to from frame two to frame three, because that's the one with lives one, which will give you. And then for 
but all, do that for all the wrong answers for the right answer. Instead of four, change it to five. You'll understand why later. It, it just all ties together like magic. It works out. Then for the last frame with the ones the live ones, for all the wrong ones, change that to 65. We can just just 65 randomly because that's going to be our game over screen. And for the right answer, you're going to change that to six for the next live one. Now that you got that done, I'm just gonna uh. Uh, make a copy of lives three, paste it right here. I want to change those lives back. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, it's three lives, and we're going to change this to a two. And hello again. Just I don't know. And then for this one, and then for uh the next lives three, we're going to select all your buttons and press Control B. Break them apart if you're on a Mac Command B. Now make this another button and this another button. Do the exact same thing coding. Release, go to, and play blank parentheses. And do the same for this. Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay, and just do that same process you did for uh, question one, and it will all tie together. Uh, I will. And once you get that concept, I'm going to show you uh, a preview, real quick preview of the guessing game and how it all ties together. So this is the guessing game right here. And so you get one wrong, get one wrong. It goes to the game over screen. And I'm sorry I didn't get to... Uh, the chance where I got to show you how to connect it to the uh, game over screen. But if you watch um, how to make a quiz and flash part one, part two, and part three, you'll understand it. And uh, again, get one right, get one wrong, get it right, you're still on lives two, get it right, get it wrong, get it wrong. It, it all ties together and makes your quiz have lives. So that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah.